Good morning. This is Good News Friday. You know, I believe that Donald Trump is the best president I ever saw. Considering the situation and what he had to face. <laughs> I read this. Uh, the United States will withdraw 500 troops from Iraq and 2,000 from Afghanistan before Trump leaves the office. Yeah, brilliant. Let these people do their thing in Iraq and Afghanistan. Don't make people go from the United States there to risk their lives or get killed. Yes. Protect your own country. Very good. Now, I was watching Rudy Giuliani and Sidney Powell yesterday at this press conference where they presented evidence on voter fraud I was watching it together with my girlfriend and afterwards we discussed uh, what the reactions would be from mainstream media and we totally agreed they will not like this they will try to hide it and so on and that's exactly what happened and this may seem like a bad thing but it's not it's a good thing you see they are actually helping us. That's how it is. You know, these globalists, they destroyed the good stuff long time ago. They built something new. Just look at what's going on. Look at uh, politics. Look at uh, justice, education, culture. This is what they built. And this is what's going down. You see? Yeah happens to everything. It's born, it's growing, and then it dies. Uh, and it, this is now dying. And we have this great opportunity to build something new. Something new will come from this. And we have a good chance to build something great based on values similar to yours about individual freedom, about honor, honesty, uh, real justice, you see, no socialism. Yeah. You see, because they are helping us by what they are doing. They are pushing so hard, making all kinds of mistakes. Just look at this election. It's a disaster. So they are helping us because all the, you look at all these people, millions of people in this fantastic network connected through internet, uh, channels, podcasts, millions of people. They are becoming more united and it is growing, of course. Yeah. So this will build the new thing. See what I mean? We have a good chance to do it. What I know is that the thing that they built, the globalists, is coming down. They are so stupid, you see? I have an example. The UK top counter-terrorism chief suggested that uh, there should be a new law against questioning the needle. Yeah, you shouldn't question it. This is a terrorist act. <laughs> yeah. This is how stupid they are. And people are getting active. I saw from Germany uh, this week in Berlin new protests against the restrictions. And I saw the reactions from the authorities with water cannons and it reminded me of when the wall came down yeah, actually it did it's getting bigger and bigger you see and these restrictions it's like it's like a new wall isn't it or small walls keeping people apart yeah. now, people don't like it so they are pushing for something that will not happen. No. There's, there's enough of us 
there is enough awakening to stop it. This is what I believe. And I think there is a positive thing about this election in the United States because it was such a disaster and people will start to think. You know, when the truth comes out, which it will, people will think, well, what about the election that we had? Uh, this is exactly what I thought. And I see a lot of people on social media talking about it now. So they actually rigged the election in the United States. So what about the Swedish election that we had in 2018? That was weird, wasn't it? Yeah. And I think about the Canadian election. That was quite unexpected, wasn't it? I listened to Canadians and a lot of people are suggesting that uh, election in Canada when this jerk, no, I'm sorry, this beautiful man, Justin Trudeau, Justin Trudeau was elected again. And the German election was weird as well, wasn't it? And the French one, yeah. So um, I think this is a good, what's coming out of this. It's helping us, that's basically what I'm saying. I want to tell you a personal story, uh, which I think is quite pretty. Yeah, you know, every year we, you need to inspect your car. You have to have your car inspected by somebody. Uh, this is a law in Sweden. And this is what I did two days ago. I came to this place and there was this guy in there uh, and he inspected my car. And he approved it, so this was all fine. He was talking a lot, yeah, about the restrictions. He did. And he complained to me. He said, people don't respect these restrictions, especially not older men, 60, 70 year old men. And a lot of them tells him, oh, I, I don't believe in this bullshit. This crisis, these restrictions, it's all crap. It's a hoax. <laughs> and he was, uh, he was wondering about it. What's going on? You know, why do people think it's a hoax? Yeah, so he was talking a lot. And then we got to talk about other things. He asked me what I was doing and I, th I said, I have a channel where I talk about things like this, yeah. He got very curious and he asked me, well, what do you talk about? Well, I talk about the EU a lot. I talk about uh, the US election right now. And he wasn't very interested. But then I said, you know, I'm also talking about feminism. And then something happened. Yeah. And he told me about him and his wife. Uh, they got kids some time ago, long time ago, and while the kids were growing up, he was forced to stay at home to watch them, or they wouldn't get any money. He was making more money than she was, but she had to go to work, he had to stay at home, and they lost a lot of money because of this. <laughs> so uh, he was not happy with feminism at all. And same thing with his wife. He told me she was actually attacked for talking up, speaking up against feminism by some friends. Yeah. So, and then I gave him the address to this channel. And he was, he was going to look at it, he said. All right. Now I wish you a great weekend. Bye.